RT-PCR is considered to be the gold standard in diagnosis of COVID-19. However, there has been a lot of curiosity and misunderstanding regarding the CT values. So let's understand everything about it. Once sample is collected, RNA is extracted and treated with reverse transcriptase enzyme. In this way a complementary DNA is obtained from the initial RNA. Now this DNA could be easily amplified using a polymerase chain reaction. This would make billions of copy of a fragment rapidly. Each cycle of amplification doubles the amount of DNA. So if there's just one DNA molecule to start with, the amount of DNA after 30 cycles would be 230 times which is around 1 billion. Now here comes cycle threshold or CT. It indicates the number of cycles needed an RT-PCR test to amplify viral RNA so that it can reach a detectable level. How is cycle threshold measured? In the qPCR, DNA amplification is measured in real time by fluorescent dye signals. And this is very crucial since it will only help us to calculate CT values. The graph is plotted between fluorescence and the number of cycles. Fluorescence signals collected in the exponential phase are noted. This would give us information on the starting amount of target DNA. The threshold line is marked in the exponential phase. At the intersection when we drop down to x-axis we get the CT value. The threshold value varies from kit to kit, but an average for COVID-19 is around 24, and it is constant. While cycle threshold is subjective and this is what we are talking about, and to remind you, CT refers to the number of cycles needed to amplify viral RNA to reach a detectable level. CT is inversely proportional to the viral load. Let's understand with an example. If I have two samples, one with 100 nanograms of cDNA and another one with 25 nanograms, I'll get earlier or a smaller CT value for the first sample. This is because it will take fewer cycles for making it detectable. But since the second one is starting with less template, it will take more cycles for the fluorescence to reach the same detection. So a low CT value, say for example 14 or 18, with reference to threshold of the laboratory, indicates a higher viral load, but a high CT level in your COVID test shows relatively lower viral load. But don't panic. Do not panic because there is no reliable way of correlating the CT value with COVID-19 disease severity or infectiousness. Disease severity depends on host factors, secondly CT values can depend on how the sample was collected, and even on technical competence of the person performing the test. Also don't have false sense of security. Since even patients with low viral load or a high CT value could suffer severe disease. What must be done is immediate treatment of COVID-19, no matter what the CT values are, if the patient is COVID positive treatment must begin immediately. Even with all the imperfections, knowing the viral load can be extremely powerful. Patients in the first days of infection have CT values below 30 or 20, but as the body clears coronavirus CT values rise gradually, so at times it can help to assess recovering. More recent studies have shown that a higher viral load or low CT value can profoundly impact a person's contagiousness.